coffee, regular cream and sugar, and an everything bagel toasted with plain cream cheese. That should do it. Excuse the noise in the back. It is the snow in between my soft topper and my back window. And I'm gonna clean it out once I get to Keenan. But I just want to let you guys in on what is going on. Keenan and I came up with this idea like last week. I mean, it was a very spur of the moment. And we made it all doable really fast. So what we are doing is camping in the pop-up for six nights, seven days, and we're going to be jumping just from one lake to the other. So we're starting the trip today. We are going to Chamberlain Lake. We're staying on Chamberlain Lake for three nights, and then we'll pack up and head up to Allagash Lake, and then we're gonna stay on Allagash Lake for three nights. So it is Monday. Oh no. <laughs> Here, I guess we'll continue it like this. <laughs> it is Monday, we will be back on Sunday. So stick along as we go get camp set up. We still have another hour drive and fish all week long, all week. It's gonna, well, it's gonna be great.
now. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Um, I got a question. Okay. Now, when we normally set up and we walk in, we have the bed here, this yeah. way, and then everything else this way, so yeah. that this is kind Which of our so, walkway. Yep. Yeah. Do you want me to make it so these are more in our walk area? Do you want some more under the bed? Because it's not going to cover the whole thing, right. and it's going to leave... I would focus more on this, and then just do what you can under the bed, close where we can reach. Because, like, I can turn it like this, and we can have a whole strip of walk area. And then, like, the table and the bin would be probably on the ice. But just plastic, so it's... You do you. Okay. I love you. I love you. Okay. It's snowing! I want your reaction. Holy. God damn, I don't even have mine out. I don't need mine. Chrysalis? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're thinking of a chrysalis. <laughs> yeah, well, we made it. We're here. Are you comfy? Yeah. Hi. I'm going to bed. You gonna watch Netflix? I'm gonna watch a little Netflix. We, go to bed. we are. This is how you really Netflix and chill. Ha ha ha. Hardy It's gonna be like what? Eight degrees oh, tonight? I'm getting a Zolio message. It's gonna be single digits. Can you hear that? Not bad. Oh, that's your phone. Oh, I'm holding it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to watch a suspenseful murder mystery <laughs> called The Stranger. Fool me once, phenomenal. Going on. Phenomenal. Oh. Do you hear that? Get a flag. Yeah, I got a flag. <laughs> Tell the people. Tell them what? We made it. We made it. We're here. We're going to catch some fish tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be the giant brookie that we're here for or if it's just going to be some follies. But we're going to catch something. Some tomorrow. chub? Something's going to eat. Something's going to eat. We're going to feed those fish. Yeah, we are. And we'll do a tour in the morning because it's 7.15 and it's time for bed. All right, we'll see you guys in the morning.
Good morning, you guys. Welcome to day two of our week-long fishing trip. I feel like whenever there's a trip had, there's always like a little bit of stress, a little bit of bumps in the road, and then everything's like easy going from there. What we woke up to this morning is something that we've dealt with in the past, but not for the three nights that we're gonna be spending here. I bought new puzzle mat pieces and I was expecting them to work with the ones that we already have and they don't. Future reference, probably going to buy more of those to be able to cover the whole floor of the shack. But um, we had a lot more water melt and it's not a big deal. Like we've dealt with it before, just not for three days. I mean, the floor is, we still have the puzzle mat to walk on, but it's just a little bit more water melt than we wanted. Everything's dry and good. We only had one casualty, which was the paper towels. I forgot to put them in the bin and stuff melted and they got soaked. So I have them sitting here right now drying. Keenan is out setting his traps. Had like a tiny bit of a late start this morning, but nothing serious. We're supposed to get eight inches of snow today and it's supposed to start around 8 a.m. So, before I get my gear on and go out and actually fish, because that's the point of this trip, right? Um, I wanted to give you a little ice shack tour of how we set things up. I try to do the same thing every time we come out, so we have kind of a system and we know where to put things. So, let me show you around. This is the door that we come through, and you walk in to our bed. We sleep on a double Coleman caught. It'll be linked down below. All of this will be linked down below because we've been using this gear for multiple years now and nothing's let us down. This mattress topper is called Lost Horizon. You can get it on Amazon, linked down below. I absolutely love this. It's like the best thing that we ever found. When buying the Coleman double caught it comes with an air mattress already on it and we used that once and it popped on us and it was horrendous and then we used it again thinking we could fix it and then we had to sleep on the deflated air mattress on the cot and it was very uncomfortable so I'm like maybe I can go online and find something that will just be like an extra cushion for us and I came across this Lost Horizon brand and let me tell you this mattress is self-inflatable, so when you roll it out, so it, it compresses all down, and then you roll it out and you open the tabs on the end and you just flip them around and it lets the air in, and then there's foam padding on the inside, and it just like all that expands. And so you're basically laying on a foam pad that won't freaking pop. Or deflate and it's amazing like even here in this corner it touches and gets real frozen no issue no deflation so if you want it like super firm you just take the bag that it comes in the lost horizon bag and there's a little tab on it that clicks in right here from here this clicks in to this and then you can push down on this bag. You get some air in it, you roll it up and you push air right into it. For those of you that have been following us for the long haul now, you've seen us use it a million times. We've shown you how to use it a million times. If you're new here, go check them out. Highly recommend. Next, we're gonna move on to our little station here. This is like my little side table, but it's holding my batteries, charger, um, Zolio, and my battery pack, and a little bit of Bear Grease salve for at night to put some lotion on. In this bin is my Jackery. I brought my Jackery with me because it's the best thing to have for power for the week. It'll also recharge our lights and stuff like that. Moving on to our heater setup that we have going on here. We bring a 30 pounder with us and then we have a filter on the hose for the buddy heater that we always set on a crate so it's above. Um, moving over to our bin. This is our casualty. The paper towels got wet. Sorry, Kenan. 
Um, this is our bin. It's a 27 gallon bin that I got at Walmart. I put everything in this from dry foods to um, utensils. So there is can opener and all our utensils down here. I even got a little measuring cup. Moving into like refrigerated stuff. You don't want it to freeze. Um, I kind of just lay it out right here under my table. So butter, hot dogs, kielbasa, onions, some bear grease, and our creamer just kind of hang out and they stay nice and cold. We got extra propane tanks for the Coleman stove and this is our trash which I think is nicely organized in a way. And then we move up to the kitchen area. This is where we cook. We had beans and hot dogs last night. I have yet to clean this up, but I will. Um, percolated coffee this morning. And then we move on to these lovely lights. These lights were super cheap. I got them um, from walmart.com. You had to order them and they were like 14 bucks for two of these. And you basically just click them, they come on, and they're also uh, rechargeable. And you can switch the settings on them to be motion activated. Those will be linked in my like to know it. So just as a refresher, we are on Chamberlain Lake right now. We'll be here until Thursday. It is... Tuesday, and uh, then we'll be headed up to Allagash Lake. I'm gonna get geared up and let's go catch some fish. Packing all my gear and going up north. Fruit. What if I want to use some of this for not B-roll? my brine fucking work. Excuse me? What? Were there flowers? Yeah. I'm here trying to clean up some, walk out, Kina's got a flag. It's been a little slow going, but this is also our first time ever fishing here, and uh, we're learning, so let's see, hopefully there's a brookie on there. Can't really see anything. I don't know how long it's been up for, because I was been cleaning that pan, and I just walked out, and I'm like, oh, hi. Side. Just be thoughtful with your set because you ream those things up like they owe you money. They owe me something. I think he dropped it to be honest with you. There's no tension. The line's slack over there. Pressure could be right there where they're gonna start mouthing them and fucking off. Yeah, bait's still here. Can't tell where he grabbed it from. Look like he grabbed it from the tail. I got my first flag. 
backstory to this trap. It is my Uncle Chet's. Um, he passed away in 2020. And I was lucky enough to be given this trap of his. It's an old jack trap from 2005. So we always call it the Uncle Chet trap. And hopefully it produces me a fish today. Well, I think they may be mouthing it. starting to like think about it yep. so they're just messing with us and then hopefully it's on like Donkey Kong yeah. teeth on. marks see on the head yeah definitely a trout fuckers I mean uh, chubs don't have teeth he only took out Bit of line, so they had it like that. Yep. We had another flag as we're walking back from this one. All of our shallow flags have gone up, so it's a good sign. The brookies are skirting. Keenan's definitely gonna get on that sled and ride it over, and I am just so used to walking that I just want to walk. I need to put my sunglasses on though. Same thing as the last one though. They're getting there. Well, it's my second flag of the day. It's further out, deeper water. I guess we're walking. Really gotta put my sunglasses on. my leader. Pulled about a foot. Bait's still there. I have to admit I got a little comfortable in there. Started watching a Netflix show I downloaded. I'm a little tired. He just got a flag. Oh wow, first time I've seen a real move today. The real move? The real move. It's moving. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, there's a lot of line off this trap hunt. Oh wow. That's a lot. Um <laughs> small. Small fish. Whatever it is. Little. This might be a nice fish. Yep, get head shakes now. Ooh. Swimming to me. 
Swimming to me feels like little... Head pulls with a little weight on it. It's a big bait. Yep. <laughs> that may be why. Do you know something that I don't? No, I don't. It's okay. Come on. So, uh, you guys should know by now, if you've been following us, we like to fish the pressure. And uh, we think the pressure's been a little too low. And uh, we have a storm pushing in. We've been watching it. We've been talking to our people down south um, on the Zolio and said that it's uh, hitting them. So as it pushes up here, the pressure's going to switch. And hopefully they're going to feed. So we get another flag. How do you know? So I can see it, it didn't go past the thing all the way, the trigger. It's just still touching it. Right? Oh, wait. No, it's not touching it. Maybe it did go around. No, it's straight down and there's no water here. You set it off just enough. Bait's there. These are my confessions. This is the first time we've ever gone fishing together and haven't caught in a fish yet. Yeah. I'm trying to think. We've never gone fishing and not caught a fish. Ever. We're, we're breaking history today. Yeah, yeah and we've all, even always caught even if a it's sport junk. fish. Yeah, I mean, we've we, always caught a sport we, fish. We've but. always caught a salmon or a splake or a tobe. Or cusk. Yeah, even like bad days out on the pond, we still catch a couple fish. We had most. one fish that could have been potentially caught today. But like our bad days on the pond are catching like two to three fish. Yeah, that's a bad day. It's a bad day on the pond. But it's strange, and it's our first time here, so. Next confession. It's chilly, and I want to roll up into this sleeping bag and take a nap. Finally started snowing. We got a blizzard. We are uh, first fish of the day. It's very strange for us. I guess it's humbling in a way because we always catch fish. Can't be cocky assholes all the time. Now y'all do, yep. nothing going on. And then real hard just once, ripped a bit of line out and then just stopped again. Hope you dropped it. Huh? Probably dropped it. You got one now? Way at the island. Cool. Jeez, I'm, I'm like, is that a flag or is that the island? I finally made it to this flag and uh, Keenan's other first one just went back up. He checked his one by the shack, nothing on that. So this one is off to the side a little bit, but he could have dropped it.
your turn for confessions. Confession number one. This shit. St <laughs> Confession off. number one is that... You turn that off? I didn't shut it off. That was confession number one. That confession you one, I didn't shut that I, off. I didn't shut it off. Confession number two is the pressure today was um, 29.51, which is what I call through the floor. None of this is going to get used, Emily. I know I'm talking to Emily right now on her laptop. I'm, I'm going to use it now. <laughs> it's sloppy. Now, do you want any extra seasonings? I doubt it. Maybe a little black pepper, but that'd be it. Okay, we'll try it first. Well, that doesn't smell like poop. God. Editing is very difficult. Editing is live. You can probably shut that off now. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to do shit. We, we need we need footage because we sucked in catching a fish. Yeah, we need to save some of this SD card. Good morning. Operation of the shack. Something. We are in about three inches of water. What happened last night was we got all that snow and it pushed the whole lake down and forced a lot of water on top of the ice. So the whole lake is a wet slushy mess. For all those people that are like, you gotta put the puzzle pieces down. The puzzle pieces aren't helping this. <laughs> no. This is just because the whole lake has water on top of the ice. Mm. Yeah, you dripped on it a bit here. But... My mother called me a princess. Oh yeah? You tell her that you're a pond princess? I told her that we have a moat. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's told me that I need to get up and help you, and I said, not until he's done huffing and puffing and making me coffee. <laughs> she said, you're a princess. Yeah. My theory on problems like this is, like, being angry about it isn't going to make it go away. And then the more you're angry about it, and the more the water continues to stay here, the more you get angry about it. <laughs> You know, you're like... The water continues to stay here. Yeah, like it's not like it's going to just up and leave because you're oh, no. angry. It's not. <laughs> you're like trying to open the door and you're splashing around. It's like, splash around more. It's not going to leave. <laughs> that You get that from your father. Do all the other men have to deal with this? Yes. Being mad doesn't help. I don't know why you're mad. Why don't you just smile about things? You guys like this mm, frost? Look at that sunrise out there. Mm -hmm. Inches of snow? Yeah, I mean, 
Wow. I got like 10 seconds in me, so you gotta tell me when's the most important. Right now. Oh, stop, put it down. Removed. We're reset. We're finally setting traps. Yep. You win some, you lose some. It's not like it's our only day fishing. We have many more days of this trip to go on. We were excited for the morning pressure. We were. But we woke up to morning swim.
what a day. <laughs> we love doing this. We love ice fishing, but there's problems that happen and you gotta deal with them sometimes. We learn something new every time we come out. It's not a lack of an experience. It's just sometimes there's different curveballs that are thrown. Uh, we have an inlet right over here next to us and it's just more slushy than normal. It's been so cold that we didn't think we'd have to deal with the slush and we're dealing with the slush. So what happened was everything just got too wet, too melted, and we had a pool of water in our shack when we woke up. And the fact that we have yet to catch a fish, we know that Allagash is going to be way more comfortable than this has been. So it's kind of nice to end it out on Allagash just because we don't put the shack on the ice. We're on ground. There's no more big snowstorms on the way. I think it's going to be a fun time. So far, Chamberlain Lake's been a learning curve and an experience. And we're hoping to just, you know, get one nice fish today. That would make us extremely happy. Do -do -do -do. This is not a sponsorship, not a brand, nothing. These people don't even know who I am. But this guy has been amazing. I can't say enough great things. Um, I've been a, we have a flag. Keenan just yelled. Um, and it's mine. Woo! <laughs> um, I've been able to talk to all of my family members on this trip with this. I have the unlimited plan. It's $50 for the month. You can stop it. You can pause it. You can change a different plan when you're done your big trip and you get unlimited everything. So, uh, highly, highly recommend. I have a link for this down below in the description bar to check them out. Um, if you're into like the hunting and have dogs and all that stuff, then the garment in reach may be better for you. But if you're just going on camping trips and you want to have that peace of mind, check these guys out. <laughs> Not screaming like Willie Beeman, so hold on to the thing. And the flag's in your hat. There we go. I got you trapped. Welcome to setup number two. I'm cooking some hot dogs and nasty onions, but it is Wednesday, day two. Second full day, third day of the trip. We are now high and dry on a nice layer of frozen snow off the ice. We're not off the ice. Yeah, we are. We're on the ice. We're on frozen snow right now. We're not off the ice. We're off the dense ice. So anyways, we're higher. <coughs> by that. I feel violated. Mm. I don't trust you now. Why 
Why is Regina such a bitch? Something crazy is happening. One shot. One, One opportunity. opportunity. To ease. To, how does it go? To seize everything I ever wanted. One moment. Would, would you, you capture? Through? Would you land it? Or would you let it spit? We got a flag. Second flag of the day. We don't know how we're feeling about this. We don't know how we're feeling about this trip, let alone this lake. Everyone seems to do great on it. I think we chose the wrong couple days. Or we're just not as good as we thought we were. He's already gone. He's already halfway up the lake. In the meantime, from the last time you saw us, we have played a game on my phone. You heard it here, folks. Catches a five pound brook trout, he's eating it. We had a talk on the way up about if we caught like a big brookie here. Because they're here. Um, it's kind of what this lake's known for. And it was something like that we'd want to mount, that we would send them back and just take really good pictures and get measurements. And that way we could get a replica done. So that's his joke, is if he catches a five pound rookie, he's gonna eat it. Two days, no fish. Calm down. I know, I just wanna make sure. See, it looked like it was having a hard time pulling out. Actually a fish. Wait, just take a deep breath. I am. He dropped it. Well, just drop it. What is happening right now? Oop. Well, I'm guessing this is gonna be the last flag. Maybe the trip. Um, we decided to not look at anything for a little bit there. We gave it a good 20, 25 minutes after uh, putting this one out here. And it's up. Hopefully, whatever's there ate it, swallowed it. been uh, quite the experience. Well. Oh, there's weight Ooh. there. Got it. I guess that's a good sign, that right? A good sign. Oh. I think it might just be the line sinking. around it. Basically, yeah. Well, it's a little bit of excitement. I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm good. I'm dead again. Tony! <laughs> What's your 
your name? Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Oh God. Yeah. We can't be away from society for that long. I dropped it in the sauce, yeah, oh no. Yeah. Don't concern. Vita! Ah. You can get your own goddamn yeah. sauce, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and we're gonna watch an episode. We'll be. Oh, we are? Oh, oh fuck. Well, then yeah. I'm sitting where you well, are. I know you're gonna sit there anyway. Hun! I just got that on. guys so this is where we're at right now we're packing everything up here on Chamberlain and we are going to head up to Allagash Lake we hope that you're still continuing along with this journey mostly for entertainment over anything our first excursion to Chamberlain Lake was not what we thought it was gonna be and there's a lot of factors that could be why we didn't catch a single fish one of them being that we did bring dead bait and you can use live bait here uh, we just with bringing everything and staying multiple nights and driving up it just wasn't an easy task to accomplish to keep bait fish alive so we decided to brine them make them stinky thought it'd be a little bit appetizing as well but it could have been what caused us not catch fish. The other thing was just the pressure. We are big pressure fishermen. There was just so many swings in the pressure. It was really, really, really low when we got here. And then it swung. We had a huge storm. We got about a foot of snow. And then the next morning waking up, it was bluebird skies and the pressure was really, really high. We just may have missed um, when they're feeding the best, but I'm not gonna not share that with you all. So. If this is the first video that you're watching of this series, go back and watch the first couple videos. They're very entertaining. I have a lot of high hopes for Allagash Lake though. I hope to bring you some good fishing content and a more comfortable shack setup. everything ready to go so Keenan really doesn't have to come in here and help me with anything. Wow, it's hot. If you guys haven't already, if you've been following me or you're new here, this is the suit that I wear. If you're interested, I love it. They're extremely lightweight. One of the best 
features that I like about this gear is that I can undo the straps on the side, zip it down, and go to the bathroom. And they have a lifetime warranty. Check them out down below. They also have uh, all men's gear. Uh, they have stuff for like spring fishing, summer fishing, rain gear. They have um, UPF 50 shirts. And the other kicker is it's extremely affordable. Probably not gonna put that in there. All right, well, we made it to Allagash Lake. Last year, they had the whole road plowed. You could park down there super close to the lake. Super excited about that. This year, it's not plowed. So, we are on the main road. Keenan's unloading the sled and the jet sled and the shack and he's going to take his chainsaw and I think the ice shack and do like the first run to pack down a path because nobody's been in here and for all we know we can just go down the road and drive that road could be plowed down there we don't know yet so we're gonna figure it out want this, but I don't know if this is anything. Well, they've completely demolished our trail to get to Allagash Lake. And so we're trying to find the trail. So we're walking. This week has been a week. We've caught no fish. We have gotten flooded out. We soaked the paper towels. I spilt my spaghetti everywhere last night. And now, we can't even get into our favorite place. There's, there's the option to just jet sled in everything, which is just... A pain in the ass. Heavy. Yeah. A lot of trips. Find our shortest walk in. Well, it looks like if we kind of stay straight this way, at some point we're going to get, I mean, we're going to get to the boundary. Oh wait, this is, this is the ledges. So stay, 
this way. We're gonna get into the Allagash Wilderness Waterway and that's when we're gonna find the trail because they can't cut there. An adventure. What more do we need? Yeah. Well, we uh, made it out to the pond and brought a canoe with us. And now we're trying to get to the gash, fighting through a whole freaking timber operation. Timber operation but uh, we're going for it. We're here for it. Our other, nobody wants to go home. We've just had a ton of casualties. It's been rough. Hopefully Mother Nature will reward us. The universe, higher power, God, Jesus, whoever's putting a damper on our week, just flip it around, please. Someone told me you'd have to redo everything again, but at the end you do get that five pound book you had to do it all again. I'd be right next to you, hon. So, we're hooking everything back up. And we're going for it. It's dark. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. I have to take this moment to just tell Keenan how much I love him and how much I appreciate everything he's done. We've both kind of been having a harder time than normal when we go on trips like this because we're usually catching fish and all good and things happen and we've both been doing very well with it I think it is what it is is what we keep saying and we're bound and determined to get into Allagash Lake Keena says he doesn't even care if he doesn't catch a fish there he just wants to get in and continue out this planned trip we also have only eaten a muffin today and my stomach is rumbling. Usually I'm good about having snacks in here while we're driving, but nope, all in the back. Yeah. Gotta be a hundred pounds with all that ice.
exactly know where we're getting. But we're getting somewhere. I don't know if I really explained it out to you guys, but there's usually a trail that we take to get down in here. Last year it was plowed and it cut off half of our trip. It was phenomenal. This year it wasn't plowed, so Keenan's like, all right, we're gonna have to ride down it. Well, Keenan rode down it and it was a mess. They've been logging through there, so there's like skitter trails that are like frozen and like deep tire tread marks, ruts and everything. So he had to like fight the snowmobile get it all unstuck, come back out, and then go from there. I looked on my Onyx, shout out to Onyx for saving the day, and I saw where other roads attached down to where we were trying to get, and we knew that they were actively cutting in there, so there had to be a road to get down in there. So we drove down a ways, found that road, followed that road down, met a very big truck hauling a very big load, that was so kind to let us go through and backed up for us. That was crazy. And it was like the end of their work day, luckily. So good thing to come on Thursday. They don't work on Fridays. And they were all heading out. So from there, we had to find our old trail. And now everything's just been cut. But because it's right on the border of Allagash Wilderness Waterway, they're not allowed to cut that land, that state-owned land. So we basically had to find the border of where that started and then try to find the trail. Luckily, I have Onyx, so we were able to follow where we thought the trail was, found the trail, connected onto the trail, and then tracked our way out. So now I have it tracked on my phone where that trail is at all times. There was really only two major spots to get the sled through and Keenan had his chainsaw, which is a godsend. So we were able to cut down all the fallen trees and get through one of the bigger skitter trails, and we made it. I, I can't believe it, but we made it. We haven't eaten anything all day, we barely drank any water, and we are exhausted. I mean, just walking around trying to find the trail took us about an hour and 15 minutes and then we had to drive back to where we were parked to get the snowmobile and the trailer because we unhooked from that to ride around and find try to find a way to get here <laughs> our other two options was to try to go to the south end of the lake um, because I know that they're hauling down there so stuff is plowed out down there um, and other than that the other option was to go home and we did not want to go home we have been having such a freaking week that we need a reward and our reward is coming here because we for one we love this lake this is our favorite lake for two we're not on the ice we're on land and three we catch fish here i mean we always catch fish here it's been a long day it's been a real long day
Mm. Experience the tradition. Coffee. Okay, we're losing. up with me at this point in the trip I think we're just losing it honestly but it's Friday we have been out of touch with civilization since Monday um, the only in touch with civilization that we have been is with family members just making sure everyone's safe Keenan got up, made coffee, and he's already out there drilling holes. We are on Allagash Lake in the North Main Woods. If you're new here and you haven't seen us fish here, if you're new here and you don't know this lake, it is Maine's traditional lake. By traditional, there are no motors or electric anything allowed on it, so we, you can't ride a snowmobile on it, you can't bring like a motor for a boat on it, you also can't bring an electric or a gas drill, so you have to hand drill your own holes. So that's what Keenan's doing right now. It takes a little bit more time, but it's the fun of it. It's kind of why it's so remote here and not a lot of people come here all the time, is because it's hard to get into. You watched yesterday's video and it's uh, work. You gotta put your work into it. Here are the weather details. Whoa. Negative four. Keenan has a flag! I don't think I'm gonna get the first fish of the whole trip on video because I'm in here eating hair, fudging off. Trying to get my shit together. I think we're gonna both cry. Keenan just got a brookie. No proof. He's got nothing. Not on film, but uh, we caught our first fish of the trip on Friday. 14 inch brookie. We caught a fish. Native as they come. Look how beautiful. <laughs> Frozen salt. Oh yeah, no fish that are being put back can come out of the water today. Yeah. None. These guys, this guy's eyes froze as soon as I went to measure him. Pretty male, super pretty male, super super cool. I don't want him to get hurt. They seem to be aggressive on the bite, but uh, not going far, you know. Dark is. I'm trying. 
Good? Look at the scars on his side. quick because it's cold. Decent brookie right here. Nice, beautiful. Probably 17 inch. My first fish of the trip. Toke. Get a baby, Brookie. Oh, it's a baby. It's a baby. <laughs> it's just a baby. Right the side of the mouth, too. Baby. second because I know it's a bigger sucker. Coming up like a cusk, like a heavy cusk. See a big cusk. Oh, it feels cusky. That's cusky. That's a cusk pole. Please be a cusk, honestly. It'd be so good in the chowder. Did you? Oh, oh my god! Right there, right at the hole. Just that was a cusk too. Hard, heavy cusk poles. And the fucking suckers are over there. I'll get them.
Oh, wow. Wait. Unreal, unreal, unreal. This one's been up for a while. But I had to pee. Take care of myself. Send him. Okay. Nice one. You want to get that off for me? Yep, I will. Keep his face in. Yep, my hands are going. day. We actually had flags, which is cool. And it's beautiful, even though it's been negative 13, windy, the high was 10, but it felt like 3. Keenan jigged up 2 togue and didn't film it. But better than the rest of the days. Things are looking up. Just what we needed. Six trout, six brookies today. I haven't caught a brookie yet. I got two at 14. Um, I caught three around 12. And I caught the 17. Did you film any of them? Yeah. I think. I'd be surprised if there was anything on that. But. What did we just do? Okay.
so iced up. Um, I'm just trying to pick this trap up and there's a fish on it. Because of the wind, it's like blown over all our traps. I legitimately just caught that in the tiniest little hole and sent him back. The moon's coming out, and I just want to eat something. Hun, I just was, I like didn't, I didn't have a scoop or anything, so I was just pulling my line up like this, reeling it. And then all of a sudden it like fell and I'm like, fucking gloves. And I grabbed it and it like took it and I'm like, oh, it's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> and so the hole that I pulled him out of was as big as him. He made his hole? And then, yeah, and then I slid him back through it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Still pulling? Is that going? Did I yeah. start that? I, I think the red light's on. Stop it. Stop it. eating it or it's a child. No, let it be. Oh, Brookie! Okay, 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 okay. Nice! Pretty. Finally caught one. With some red. Yeah, the wind's not blowing wicked, so I'll... Oh, flag. Just watched it go off right oh. there. Oh, that God. one's mine, too. We started the morning with glorious comfort. Mm -hmm. I was really comfortable this morning though. I was like warm and cozy and good. And then you started unzipping my sleeping bag and I was like, I will throat punch you. Coffee was ready, it was warm, it was time. The sun was friggin' cresting on the horizon. I got the first fish of the trip. What was it? Did I record that? No. Sorry. Uh, you did awful all day. But I kept it alive. Uh, I mean, I kept it not alive. Yeah. But I kept it, so we, we have it. Yeah, There's you proof. you walked in here and filmed it. 
14 inch Berkey. I finally decided that I would just hand my GoPro off to you because I knew you were capable of understanding the assignment and you did not understand any bit of the assignment today. How's that corn chowder? Togue chowder. Currently cleaning the pot with some bread. I believe I had seven or eight, so we're going with seven per trout. This one got one. The end of the night. So we're at eight rookies and six toad for the day. And ironically, the whole trip. <laughs> and we are finally happy. We. <laughs> <laughs> We have been through it all. We've been through a lot. We met some subscribers today. If they were subscribers, I mean... They you, watch the videos. They watch our videos. And they made a video about us. Yeah. That was sweet. Yep. That was... They caught a nice white fish out here last year. And they mocked us. And they, <laughs> they sounded they, like me. They mocked us. They mocked, and it was hilarious. I loved every bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Um, Nate and Roger. Nate and Roger. They they got that video, on. send it to me because it's freaking hilarious. Working on my catchphrase, I guess. Nice one, hon. Nice one, hon. It's like, way to go, M. Nice one, hon. <laughs> Highlight of the week. That's great. Signing off. Love you, night. Okay, <laughs> <Hey>, Steve. <laughs>
bleeders, notorious bleeders. Cold hands. This is our last day of our trip, fishing wise. We leave tomorrow to go back home to, it's still not civilization, but um, reality in a way. Uh, we've spent six total days gone off the beaten path. It's been very nice. No service whatsoever, no clue what's going on in the world. I've been able to talk to our parents and friends and family with the Zolio, but not that daily scroll, which has been very, very nice and much needed to get off the freaking internet. walking up and I like look at it and then it just goes Hurup. I'm like oh were you following us what the fudge was that you just calmly pull a brookie out Oh, it's a smell. Oh. Okay. Oh, he's gone. Bye. Well, you saw him. Catch and release. Nice, probably 16. Yeah, that was a nice brookie. Yeah, probably 16 inches. I got him to the hole. I saw the leader, and I'm like, is that a brookie or a small toe? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, it's a brookie. I guess we should pull it up. Nice brookie. Holy shit, that's a real nice brookie. Absolutely beautiful fish. Quick measurement. 16 and a half. Keep him right in the water. Three inches, twenty two, twenty three. Go for it. Yep. On to the second. inches but thin 20 inches
smaller, probably 18. Uh, two things, hold on, first off. Sorry, but I don't have enough suckers to let you have that one. Huh. He's got a growth coming off the bottom of his jaw there. In the roof, the mouth, little guy. frozen to the bottom so I can't slide it up yep. so I touched it because it looked like the thing was over I touched it and it went up and I pulled it and there's weight Nice rookie. Whoa, nice, nice rookie. rookie. Calm down. Line up. Nice. Look how beautiful he is. Absolutely gorgeous. Come on. Seventeen. Seventeen. Wait. Holy shit! Gorgeous Brookie! Nice. Oh my god. I need to keep him. Native brook trout. He's ready. Okay. I'm just trying to keep his tail warm. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous.
for a second thinking that was a brook trout. What a beautiful hook set. Thank you for that. Why? Beautiful hook set. Nice. Put it on the gill plate. Took out all this line. You want to give me the smell? And then after you give me those in my pack basket, in my pack basket, eat that food. Okay. So like I was saying, get in my pack oh basket. My can I talk for no. two seconds? Unreal. Food, thank you. Take a bite. Well, I want you to Can I, Do I have to eat the, your hair too? Yes. Okay, now mm. tell me. We're now nearing, what, it was one o'clock. So it's noon time on our last day out. Half a day. And my furthest trap flag just went off, which is a sucker. It's a tobe trap. We've yet to catch a cusk yet. We've done fairly well on cusk. Keenan's catching a fish right now. That's all he's done all day. Dinner. That is dinner. Probably four, probably four pounds. Boy, you decided to swallow it though, huh? I hope he's getting all this footage for you guys. If not, it is what it is. He's actually keeping count. Ah! Now I gotta make a long journey. You got a cusk? Yeah. Woo! Hopefully that is too. And he sucked her right to the butthole. We're spinning. Definitely a togue. Nice dog. Healthy. Nice healthy guy. Thick at the shoulders.
Toga Loga. I can hear the reel spinning under. Just, um, hopefully this doesn't die. She's cold. Oh, wow. Okay. That was a good fish. That was a really good fish. Broke my line. God damn it. No! Hun! Wow, that's a nice brookie. Dump, 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 dump. Beautiful. Nothing better than that. Pretty female. Do better. Do better. On the sucker. I don't have my phone on me, so hold on. Look. Nice and easy. Buddy, that's what we come here for. So we're just gonna catch it, maybe. Damn, beautiful brookie. Stop it. Measure him. I saw this. Oh, yep. I didn't know. He's very pretty. Beautiful brook trout. Beautiful brookies. Sorry, my my reel was just ripping. And I was concerned, so I started catching him before I turned the camera on. Another toke. Not gonna keep him. Cuscalinga. Oh, okay. I was actually able to take a second and organize the 
whole shack. One thing I have to do and haven't done is dishes. And it was nice to just take a freaking second and now I have a flag. So, the joys. Let's go uh, see if we can catch it. It's a cuss, do you want me to keep it? I did this with you yesterday, but apparently it didn't record because cold weather, you know, and batteries. But you can watch me cut this guy up.
could see him, but I ripped it out of his mouth. A brookie. I couldn't really tell. let go of this one. Bargain.
Brookie. Very, very nice, Brookie. Nice, Brookie. Gorgeous. Beautiful 17 and a half inch brook trout. Setting and resetting the shack three times is 